Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about mechanical advantage leverage. We're going to show you how to build an ancient spear thrower called an addle addle that'll let you throw an arrow up to 300 feet. And we're going to be talking about if Leonidas' spear throw in 300 was really possible. Check it out. Hello and welcome to The Drawing Board, the show that makes science less about this and more about this. I'm your host, David Franklin, and today we're going to get straight to the point. The average human being should be able to throw a javelin roughly 50 to 100 feet. Not, not that, you know, I'm that good all the time, but, you know, people can do it. But anyone can throw them much further and easier using a device called... An addle addle, an ancient spear thrower that's been used since the Neanderthals. Today we're going to be showing you how to build an addle addle and we're going to be breaking some Hollywood spear myths. Hit it. First we take a piece of wood that is at least half the length of our spear. Long enough that you could grab the arm underneath the spear center of gravity. The key components of the addle addle are the spike at the back to hold the spear in place and a place for the spear to rest closer to your hand. The spike needs to be at such an angle that the spear will point slightly upwards when your throw reaches the top of its arc. This can be used for arrows or full spears or just about anything in between. That being said, if you're going to try building this today or using it anywhere at all, be safe. Use common sense, protection, and any precautions necessary to make sure that you or anyone else is completely safe and free of harm. And if you can't or won't do that, don't build this at all. Seriously, these are sharp, dangerous, they are real and potentially lethal weapons. You have to be careful with these. And if you can't or won't do that, don't do it. Because if you do, you'll get some of this. And I'll probably get some of this. Lucky for you, we can be safe and you all can enjoy the experience from the comfort of your own armchairs. And we're gonna test all these weapons, but first, Spartans! My dog's probably terrified right now. It's like, oh god, not the Spartans! Oh Jesus, not the Spartans. <laughs> Which is probably how the Persians felt. If you haven't seen the movie 300, I'll try and summarize it in about 10 seconds. It's a movie where 300 of the world's toughest, albeit half-naked, commandos try and take on the domineering and historically ruthless evil empire of Persia. Or evil, according to Greek legend, you know. The victors write history. In the final scene of 300, when the remaining Spartans try to face down the Persians, King Leonidas of the Spartans tries to use his final moments to take down the king of Persia. Xerxes. Here we can see that Leonidas' spear throw is about 150 feet slightly uphill, which is a doable throw considering that the world record for a javelin throw is about 108 meters or roughly 300 feet. However, it's kind of doubtful that after it skinned Xerxes' cheek that it would still break through the metal on the other side. I mean, it's kind of possible considering the Greeks and the Persians used bronze to make their spear tips and swords, which is a pretty tough metal, and if Xerxes' carriage was made out of gold instead of bronze, Bronze, it would totally pierce through, but if the carriage were made out of bronze like it appears to be, it's doubtful that the bronze would rip through unless those spears were really, really, really sharp, and I'm pretty sure the Spartans were using rocks to sharpen their spears, not modern grinders. But what wouldn't work is Xerxes surviving the spear throw at all. Provided that Leonidas has actually got his throw to go that far, the spear is shown entering at roughly a three to five degree angle. When you throw a spear that has a weight at the front, it has a tendency to travel in tangent to the part of the circle that it's traveling. Traveling a lot. So if Leonidas' spear is coming in right around a 3 to 5 degree angle, it means that it must have been coming just off the top of its arc. Or about half the total distance it would cover, which would be a world record throw. And if Leonidas were to throw that far, he'd definitely need to be throwing the maximum speed possible. Warriors and hunters are known to have been able to throw spears up to 100 miles per hour or roughly 45 meters per second. And the average human rotates their head in about 0.1 seconds. I personally did it in 0.125 as you can see here. And once the spear is coming into contact, Contact, Xerxes hasn't even turned his freaking head. I mean, God, Xerxes, you're an idiot. I mean, you may have dipped into some magical juices in the second movie to try and become immortal, but if you think you won't bleed, you will. Assuming Xerxes' head is about one foot thick, that means the spear would travel the thickness of his head in about one one hundred and fiftieth of a second, whereas it would have taken him about one tenth of a second to turn his head, which means there's no way he could have moved out of the way of this spear. The spear would travel along the same three to five degree angle, piercing Xerxes' carotid artery, which isn't exactly survivable. 
I mean, you bleed out in like 30 seconds and you're just done. So according to what legendary pictures decide to show us on film, it seems like Leonidas's luck should have held out just a little bit longer just before, well, you know. It's an ancient technology called an addle addle, which hooks into the back, gives your arm more length, and because of the direction of the spike, allows you to throw when your arm is at this angle rather than at this angle. The addle addle is a great example of mechanical advantage, which means the best way for me to throw this spear would be to push from the back end, but still have my hand in its center of gravity, which is where I can balance it on my finger and it stays in place. Another great example of mechanical advantage is if you're arm wrestling someone, the very first thing you should do is tilt your hand this way when pushing down, because this is a superior angle to utilize your bicep strength, whereas if you go back here, it's more of a weak area. So the very first thing you should do when arm wrestling or throwing a spear is trying to gain the mechanical advantage. The second thing that an addle addle provides is called leverage, which essentially means you have more length. The longer an arm, the easier it is to push something. If I were to grab right here on my addle addle and try and push this cup, I'd have to use a lot more force than if I spun it around and use it all the way out here. It uses much, much less effort on my part. Archimedes is best known for doing this in his quote, give me a fulcrum and a lever long enough and I can move the world. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Drawing Board. If you like what you saw, go ahead and like and share this with a friend or a family member. If you want to see more, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure to tune in next week when we're going to be talking about spy technology in honor of the new Mission Impossible movie. Also, if you have any science topics, movies, games, or build challenges that you'd like us to undertake, go ahead and tell us in the comment section below. We'd absolutely love to do them. And I'd like to take this opportunity to remind our audience not to play with sharp objects because if you do, you might end up like this, and we'll go like this. This is Sparta! We're actually gonna do it top ways. Spartans! That was actually not bad. I hear that you are the one who wants to date my daughter. What is your profession? Wah! 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 That was less, that was less good. Was... Do you know that I have spears? Yeah.